Okay, hi. <laughs> so today we are going to testing uh, Medit scanners. In this case, um, Medit i700 wireless versus i600. Maybe the most popular one today because simply this is maybe the best buy scanner you can get today. So the whole idea is to uh, first of all thank you Timco for lending me these uh, scanners so we can do today's test and today's test are going to be uh, Macintosh, actually Macbook uh, 14 inch M1 Pro with uh, Macbook 16 inch M1 Pro and uh, gaming laptop the Gigabyte uh, with i7 processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 3070 graphic card, 3070 Q RTX. Uh, I will put the, actually we will put the specification on the screen so you can see the laptops. And firstly we will start scanning with the gaming laptop. Uh, I hope you can see the screen. Uh, this time we will not be recording the screens on the on the laptops because it reduces the frame rate. So one good thing with the scanners is when you start doing the calibration, no matter on which laptop you do it, either if you do it on a PC or you do it on a Mac, when you go to a new computer, doesn't matter if it's another operating system or if it's the same operating system, the calibration is written on the scanner itself, on the firmware, so you do the calibration only once and then no matter which dentist uses it, in which practice, it's already calibrated and that's a great thing because it's a big time saver. Bravo, made it! <laughs> so now the, the, final, the final thing, the, we will now export all of the STL files and we will put them all in one um, big, one big ExoCAD file, ExoCAD project and we're gonna compare the precision of all of them and we don't expect much different results because they're both great scanners and our theory is that it depends more on the scanning strategy that the operator has than it does on the scanner itself and we will also try and prove that with uh, deliberately trying to make a bad scanning strategy right now. Super. So I will start with the i600 then we will do the i700. i700 take two on the PC laptop uh, with a, without any external monitors or the screen recording so we can see the true results. The drops of the, of the frame rate for the i700 on the PC laptop was around 40 frames per second. Usually when I'm usually working with the patients, it's about 65, maybe around uh, between 60 and 65. Sometimes even 70, but usually it's around 60 and 65. So one thing you have to be aware with the i600 and the i700 non-wireless is that they have a cable. And uh, a problem with USB cables is that not all USB cables are alike. So you have to be very careful. careful. The scanners come with quite a short cable. It's about a meter long. And if you require a longer cable, you have to be, you have to be aware that you have to buy a fast enough cable. So it has to be at least 40 gigabytes per second. So it's at least a USB 4.0 or something higher. So then you go into Thunderbolt cables. So the cable, usually the cables that are good are much thicker because they have a much bigger data throughput than just the normal skinny ones. So you have to be aware that the cables are good enough and fast enough for the scanners because the scanners put so much data into the computer that it wouldn't work with a bad cable. So now we will start scanning with the i600 with a MacBook Pro 14 inch.
beginning with the i700 with a MacBook Pro 16 inch which has a little bit better performance processor of 10 cores versus the base model of 14 inch which has 8 cores. The final test, i600 on MacBook Pro 16 inch. impressions um, I don't know we took a lot, of, a lot of scans the both scanners are really performing so well but I'm really impressed with this one it's light it's small and it's working all the time and the price performance factor is the price performance uh, absolutely um, it, it is a truly best buy this is the best scanner I ever used in this price range actually because I really love the i700 wireless, I'm quite used to it using with either cable and I'm, I have three batteries so I don't see the fuss over it if you're going to run out of batteries if you use one just put it on a charger you have two more so I don't know how much you're working at a day but you will never get without the batteries uh, but this one, this is the perfection in a small form because uh, so about the scanning strategy, uh, my scanning strategy, I'm into computers for a long time, I don't, I never actually consider it uh, the standard procedure of scanning some, someone's jaw to start with the occlusal plane and then vestibular and then the, the palatal one because as it, that is my humble opinion actually. But uh, in that way, the computer doesn't know what you're scanning. Are you scanning jaws, are you scanning teeth, or are you scanning anything? He knows only ones and zeros, so true or false. So, a uh, scanner is actually a camera, uh, like a photo camera that you already have, I suppose. Uh, so, it, it produces, we are talking about the frame rate. The frame rate is actually how many pictures it takes in a second. So uh, these scanners taking from 35 to 72 frames per second usually and the uh, computer is making from those images that are still images he is making the 3D object. Uh, my logic and my point of view on those things is uh, when you're starting scanning you start from occlusal plane and you're doing the zigzag moves all over the back teeth, teeth and I'm starting with the back teeth and I'm going on the front teeth and I'm always using the zigzag moves. Why is that? Because I'm making the single image and making it bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger and following the whole jaw, the whole arch of the jaw. Uh, uh, in other way, if I'm going to make one image of the occlusal plane and the second image of the 
palatal plane or the vestibular plane, we are going to have three images that we are going to stitch together. And at least in my opinion, that is the way that you can make the the problem with the scans. The, the yeah. dental technician will, will have the problem with the scans. In my way, the zigzag move that I'm using actually six or seven years uh, in that way, because I was thinking about it, the machine doesn't know what it's doing. We are, we were supposed to know what it's doing. We will scan. We we now scanned all of the tests we did. We did with the militia strategy, and so um, we expect those to be really similar. But now we're gonna deliberately we're gonna scan it the the standard way or the the as we presume the incorrect way, um, the the less. Um, the worst way. So we're gonna we're gonna scan the occl occlusal side first, and then we're gonna do the palatal and the lingual. Mm -hmm. and the palatal and the so for and this strategy and for this scanning, I'm going to put my medic cap that I forgot to put on this clip. So we are now ready for scanning. Okay, so this was a, a little bit longer video than we hoped for, but maybe we will put one all together when we split it up, a couple of small videos so you can compare it yourself, the, the PC laptop versus Mac laptop, uh, two of those Macs, and the i600 versus i700 wireless. Of course, absolutely thank you Timco for letting, me, uh, letting us those scanners so we can try this. Uh, the comparison and do the test. Comparison and do all these tests. And thank you all for watching. At the end we're gonna do the also the execute comparisons and that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye.